Hello everybody and welcome to Hong Kong. We arrived here yesterday. We flew here. Ooh. We did arrive here yesterday from London and it is amazing here. The weather is so hot. We are melting. We do have a really exciting food tour planned for you today guys. We are going to be hitting up four different places. Three or four depending on how hungry we are. Three or four different places. We're gonna be trying all different kinds of local Hong Kong foods. And this food tour was planned for us by our lovely friend, Jaffles Changi. We'll link his channel down below for you guys. He has an amazing YouTube channel. He does all kinds of food vlogs in Sydney, a lot of like after work eats, as well as like food challenges, cheap food to find in Sydney. So we'll link him below because you gotta check him out. But he actually used to live here in Hong Kong. So he has given us some tips on the best places to eat here. So we're gonna do that right now. Starting with a pineapple bun, so let's go. So the first place we're off to this morning is the Kamwa Bakery. We're gonna try and get some pineapple buns. It's a sweet bun, and I don't actually know that much about it. The only thing I do know is that it doesn't actually contain pineapple. Okay, we want pineapple bun. Uh, two? Two, please. Two. And milk tea? Ice and hot. Ice and hot. Ice. 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 Two. two. Uh, with the condensed milk? Uh, this one? No. 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 That's okay. That's alright. It's all good then. Thank you. We are here in the Kamwa Cafe. This cafe was recommended to us because it is a very traditional style Hong Kong cafe or Cha Cha Ten. And we have ordered the pineapple bun. Traditionally, it gets its name from its shape and not actually because it has pineapple in it. So let's give this pineapple bun a go. Ooh, the top feels like really crumbly. It's like a really sweet bun. The top is like a little bit crispy, it's a little bit warm, and then it's really squishy and fresh inside. That is thick butter. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's really, really sweet. From what I understand, the pineapple name actually comes from the pattern on top of it. I guess that's where it gets its name, pineapple butter. From what it looks like rather than what it tastes like. But it is really, really good. Milk tea time. It is so sweet. So sweet, Whoa. right? I know I was not expecting it to be that sweet. So this is almost like, it tastes kind of like an English breakfast tea bag with ice and then lots of milk. Um, I, re I really dig it. Thank you. Thank you. The next place we're off to today is for lunch, and that is the Kung Wu Tofu Factory. They cook fresh soybean tofu, it's fresh every day, and it's supposedly where the locals come to get cheap eats. Soy sauce, fried noodle, vegetarian. Yes. Yeah, this one? Yep. And this one. Oh my god, that was so fast. <laughs> ah! So we got some fried tofu and we also got some vegetarian noodles. We got a bowl of puff tofu, that's why we came here. This place is famous for its tofu. It's known as a tofu factory. Very excited to try it. Good tofu. I've never had tofu this way. It's obviously been freshly battered and freshly fried. It's crispy, but it's not too heavy. The oils are fresh because it's that beautiful golden color. Best tofu I've ever had. So good. Oh my god, 
not as good. There's like some bean sprouts in there too. Mm, mm, mm. Gosh, you guys, that was so yummy and it was also so cheap. So it came to 21 Hong Kong dollars for the fried noodles and the fried tofu, which is less than $5. And we are both so full now, so that is probably one of the cheapest meals we've had since we've been here in Hong Kong, which is not that long. We've been here about 24 hours, but still, it's one of the cheapest meals we've had so far. And it's good. Yummy. Next up, I think we're getting, what are we getting, an egg waffle? I think, yeah, we're going to the egg waffle place, but we're going to get the metro there, so. It's so busy in Hong Kong. Oh my goodness, it's madness. So it's just a little bit too far to walk, so we are going to be trying our hand at the Hong Kong metro, which I'm yeah. very excited about. God, I we love We haven't trains. actually gotten on the metro yet, so no. this is going to be really exciting. If it's anything like China's metro, it's going to be a little bit crazy. But and also be amazing, because the metro is in China. Oh, it's so much fun. Let's go. Just so you know, when you're in Hong Kong, the word subway means tunnel under the road and not train station. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah. We can't find the station. The signs keep pointing in different directions. It's just very confusing. Oh, which way the door's gonna open? Could go out. Oh, either way. Okay, we want the red line, don't we? Okay. There's one. Woo! Is it pink? This is my favorite color. location we got the metro like 20 minutes out of the city and turns out the boat that we want is actually in the city pretty much right where we were so we're gonna get a metro back oh dear when they say like $28 because I'm thinking like Australian dollars but really it's less than five five Australian dollars thank you thank you also how colorful are these $10 notes I love them ordered the matcha mogi eggettes because that is what Jeff recommended for us so it's a matcha flavored egg waffle and inside is the mochi which looks like cheese, but I'm not 100% certain. Also, this place was crazy hard to find. It is not where it says on Google Maps. <laughs> you just go to Fa Yuan Street and you keep walking up to 174. We'll link the address below and uh, don't go to Kai Wong Station like we did, which was the first place we went. Don't go there, because it's definitely not there. <laughs> So Bove is apparently one of the best places in all of Hong Kong to get these delicious egg waffles. And it's a pretty traditional Hong Kong style street food. We had kind of similar kind of thing in Shanghai, but it was really sweet and it was filled with like ice cream and cream. I'm not sure if this one's gonna be sweet or savory. 
Oh. It's sweet, but not too sweet. So it's definitely got the tea flavor. And then inside, there's the mochi. Actually, I actually have no idea what mochi is. Thank you so much. So we did manage to get some Hong Kong style milk tea. Is it different from the other milk tea? It almost tastes the same. <laughs> no. I'm not sure if we got the right one actually. It's really nice, like it's got a super strong tea flavor coming through it. Very similar to this morning's. I tried to order the Hong Kong milk tea with condensed milk because the place next to this place sold it. But we've ordered it now and I'm not convinced there's condensed milk in it. I would have thought if it had condensed milk in it, it would be a bit sweeter and maybe a bit thicker. I don't know. I could be wrong. This could have condensed milk in it. It's really nice. It's not as sweet as the one we had this morning either. I'm digging this milk tea. Like I could drink this all the time. Also, this street we're on, Fa Yuan Street, it has like like the whole street is just market. So if you are coming to get your milk tea and your bubble waffles, you can also do some shopping as well. Guys, what a delicious day we've had. We have pretty much just eaten all day today. Feels like it. <laughs> what a perfect day in Hong Kong, right? What was your favorite thing you tried today? Uh, I think. I think the fried tofu, it was just so fresh. It was super tender. fresh. I've yeah. never really had like, tofu like that. Yeah, I can see why the locals love it. I can see why it was packed. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like people were like swapping over tables. So oh, yeah. as soon as someone left, the next table was full. I've actually found that with like the, a few of the places that we have eaten is that it's very quick service. Like they get yeah. you in there, food is on the table, and then they get you out. Like the turnover of people mm. in these restaurants is just crazy. What's your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food was the matcha waffle with the mochi inside. I still have no idea what mochi is. We're gonna have to figure that one out. But that was delicious because it was like real tea flavored yeah. waffle. I've never had a waffle that was tea flavored before, so yeah. I thought that was really yummy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, this is Sally and I'm Ed. And we're in Hong Kong. We're in Hong Kong. We were traveling overland from Sydney to London, but we're not doing that yeah. anymore, so now we're just in Hong Kong. I know, we're gonna have to find like a new, <laughs> find a new tagline, hey? Yeah. If you have not already done so, please make sure you subscribe down below, hit that like button, turn on the bell for notifications. Share it with your friends. Do all of those nice things, and guys, we will see you in the next video. Cool.